Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Mega Base series. In the previous episode we prepared this new station that is going to be responsible to just craft the speed and productivity modules and we prepared everything necessary to attempt this with robots. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started as of this point. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for a row of beacons before we set up our machinery. Now let me think, maybe we first start planning out what we need. I'm gonna need some chemical plants in order to craft the sulfuric acid and also the plastic. Sulfuric acid I already know we're not gonna need that much of. Let me see, yeah we could probably just have this here at the very corner. So I'm gonna set this up right here and then on the other side we're gonna have the plastic. Then we start on the other side with plastic and we can just expand towards either side if we wish to. Let's actually get this a little bit closer over so we have approximately the same distance here. So this one would be plastic and this one here sulfuric acid. We are gonna need water and what else? Some iron plates and sulfur. Also let's use the productivity modules wherever we can which should be basically everywhere. Then I'm gonna add a requester chest and we also need to hook this up to some water. Let's do it. Hmm let me see. Water is coming from here. So I'm going to move this over here through the tracks somehow. This gives us access to water and we can also connect all of these together. Then we just need to move the requester chest. Yeah, this needs to be on this side so we can tile it and then let me see. Yeah, let's just get a fast inserter for this one. That should be good enough. I then would like to get a couple of beacons in the joint so I can guesstimate how quickly this machine is going to run. So there are going to be two, three more beacons like so. And we also need to power it up, which we can do, mm, let me see, with a substation here from the other side. Yeah, let's have the first substation here and then connect it like so. Good, now we can just copy over the recipe and whatever we are requesting here is going to be fine. We also tick that just in case we set up some buffer chests. Good, now all we need is a bunch of logistics robots inside the system and of course we want to add more in due time. And actually we should be able to do that quite easily. If we get another requester chest and set it up right here for instance, then we could go ahead and request logistics robots. Let's do 100 right there. And then basically all we have to do is add a inserter and then a storage chest towards the other side of the field. So now it's going to be in the lower logistics system. Now I want to make sure to actually read the contents of the logistics system. So we're going to bring this over and hook it up to the inserter. Right here we're going to say we want to read the robot statistics and the available robots have the variable x. That means for the inserter if x is lower than 50 available robots then we want to add more to the system until we basically have enough. And we're just going to do this one robot after another. Yes. Okay. Just give this a little bit of power and we should be golden. Right now, of course, we have exactly 50 robots available, so it is no issue. We just need to get the sulfuric acid out of there. And then if we want it, we could easily copy this over. But let's now do the other side. Let me just uh, get some beacons here as well. As a matter of fact, I should check just how the layout is going to be. Also get a requester chest for this one and then we need the petroleum on the other side. So you're going to come out this way and you need to end up somewhere here. Wonderful, I got all the beacons here in place. We just need an inserter in and out. Out, let's do it on the other side and then a storage bin. Inside the storage bin, I only want plastic bars and I'm actually going to hook this up to a wire so it doesn't overdo it. And I'm going to say anything uh, if that is below, let's say uh, 2000. Then I want to enable the inserter. Now it's also time to add more robo ports like so. I'm also going to add more logistics robots myself just because I have them. Copy over that recipe and we should have some robots incoming delivering the coal. And where is petroleum? Yeah, need the pipe. Okay, we can then also easily tile this one over to the right side and therefore we should have enough space. With that out of the way, I think we have the necessary materials. If we wanted to go for the electronic circuits, we just need the copper and the iron. Here we need the the plastic additionally and here we need the sulfuric acid. So we got everything handy and I would say we're gonna 
get started with the copper cables. Now this might be a little bit chaotic with the copper cables because a lot of it has to be transported and it might be worth it to do this with inserters still. So the idea would be we set up a machine here and maybe there or we could yeah let's actually do it here. This would be the copper cable and this would be the electronic circuit. Added a bunch more beacons on the other side and made sure this is actually powered. Then we can go ahead and check out the ratios. Yeah, this way we would not be getting enough of the circuits. So we would have to module this up. Let's say we all have productivity modules. What would that mean? Now it's only a deficit of 1.2 circuits. So theoretically just replacing one here with a speed module might get us the numbers we need, which is a little bit more. So either we deal with the fact that the machines aren't enabled all the time and save a little bit on materials, which might actually be the wiser decision. Oh, I just noticed this needs to go one more block down. But yeah, let's get this started here. Gonna copy over this recipe. So we get some copper delivered and then we use some stack inserters to bring the copper cables over. And finally, a stack inserter to bring the electronic circuits into a storage chest electronic circuits and we also want to hook this up to some green wire to limit the inserter we want to check for anything and if that is below uh, what are we collecting here the copper cables they stack up to 200 so let's do 4000 no it's the electronic circuits but they still stack up to 200 okay let's see this happen i just want to make sure that we actually can keep up with introducing the items and wait now we are missing some iron of course so the iron could be introduced here on the other side yeah hold on my ocd is just crazy i cannot deal with these numbers i'm gonna make them straight this one would be 200 and then we can have some iron plates in here let's also do uh, 200 uh, actually this can be 100 Okay, wonderful. Now we're producing the circuits and we can just tile this up very conveniently. Well, actually, we would run into issues with the power. So maybe let me check on that. What if we just keep on tiling this up? Then all I would have to do is move the chests for this one. Yeah, we could totally do that. So I'm just gonna copy this in anyway. And then we're gonna copy this over and add it here instead. Oh, I cut it out instead of copying it over. But you get the basic gist. We can have uh, quite a few of these machines, which I think is even more than we have here. So here we have like 16, I believe. And let me see, that would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Ooh, we cannot have that many more. Maybe we are actually going to require a second row. I mean, we have plenty of space, so that is not the issue. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm just going to keep going here. Let's see how many we can get in the joint. Remove that and you are going to go here instead. And now because we're using so many robots, more robots are being introduced here, which is good. Yeah, at the moment, all the robots are being used up. Hold the phone. I still need to introduce them here. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. So these need to be introduced here and I need an inserter right there. Okay, so that now means all the robots inside of the system are going to be added, which is going to be quite a few. But as soon as we have 50 inactive robots, then the system is going to stop. Also, we already need more robot ports, but we should be able to provide... Oh, no, the pipe is in the way, but we can rectify this issue like so. Good, that's the green circuits out of the way. I'm going to leave another row free for the green circuit. So let's maybe copy over just the first part here. Let's see how that is going to adapt. And this would have to go here. And of course, there's going to be a little gap because of the robo port. But then it would be adding up like so again. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be fine. Let's keep going here now with the red circuits. What do we need for the red circuits? Just additional plastic bars. So firstly, we're also going to be needing one copper cable. And I think it's enough for six of the advanced circuits. So that would be one two three four five six okay and as of this point we can repeat the pattern that means we can get this in here about three times and now because i'm lacking the speed module still i cannot really tell if that is going to be enough but my assumption is it's not going to be enough 
Also, while I'm at it, I'm going to get some more robo ports in the joint. Nice. We already have new trains incoming. I'm going to get the system running, even though we technically don't have the modules. Get a requester chest in here. And I think I'm just going to copy over what we have. Uh, yeah, I already did copy that. And then we're going to get these into two separate storage bins. I'm also going to be hooking that up to a wire. Uh, for each of the storage bins. Check for anything below uh, the cable. So that would be 4,000 that we want to store. And then the robots can take the copper cable from here, hopefully. And we should also have some more robo ports nearby. Now, the way I set this up, I'm actually not leaving enough space for robo ports and such. So I think I'm going to be a little bit wasteful. We're just going to cut out this part and also yeah get rid of these guys and then i'm gonna have an entire row of robo ports so all of these go there and then another row of beacons let's maybe get rid of the beacons that we don't need and only after this we're gonna paste back in the red circuit stuff like so Good, now it's time to set up another requester chest here. And what do we need? We need plastic bars, the copper cables and electronic circuits. So let me just go ahead and set this up. Plastic bars, electronic circuits and some copper cables. Okay, we're going to introduce those materials and get them into a storage bin filtered for advanced circuits. And we're also going to limit the output here. Detect anything below 4000. I'm then going to copy this over for each of the red circuit assemblers. And I'm also going to copy over the stuff that we need for the copper cables. And uh, I will have to move things here a little bit. Let me just paste this in and get the second inserter next to the substation. But that should technically be everything in place. Let's maybe finish this. Uh, do I want to leave a little bit of space? Not necessarily that much. Yeah, we actually don't need the space. But let's just keep the distance here and say this is going to be the entirety of the red circuits. Then of course we could also copy this over a second time like so. And after that I would suggest to have another row of robo ports like so. And another row of these guys and then we make the blue circuits. The blue circuits are just going to require the other circuits and then some sulfuric acid which we can bring down from upstairs. And I'm going to do that right here. This is coming all the way down. Start to add the blue circuits here. Actually, let me copy this over for the modules and then we're going to change it to blue circuits. Okay, we can have a requester and storage chest on this side. This one here is going to request whatever materials we need. Um, let me see that. Yeah, we're going to round this up to a full stack for both of the materials. Get this in and out. Get this hooked up to a logistics network and limit this. You know the drill by now. Good. Now I'm just going to grab the sulfuric acid from the corner here and we're going to bring it over. And then honestly, I might just do something like this and hook them all up to one single pipe. So if we copy this over, it's just going to continue as such. Yeah, you know what? We should just do the entire row. Um, actually, let me get this over here. Cut this out again and we can get this closer. We're almost done here. Just need to finish. Yeah, I think that is the job finished. We copy over another row of these and that would be it for all of the circuits. So these are all the ingredients to craft the modules themselves. Good. That means I can get this pipe hooked up a little bit better yeah let's just get rid of that and do this what am i doing i meant to do this okay it's always a little bit finicky with the spider tron since it is rocking back and forth but there we go this is now all dedicated to crafting modules and of course we can still add more green circuits here and you know what thinking about it i should probably have made uh, the robo ports here yeah, actually that makes more sense so i'm gonna remove these two robo ports and then the robo ports are still connected and i don't have to make this gap of course that makes much more sense yes Looks like it didn't copy over all the inserters, but it seems to be okay now. Good. Now I'm just lacking what? Uh, not the robots. That is not the problem. The materials might be a problem. Am I not storing enough? No, we still have quite a few in there. And the train should be called very shortly as soon as we go below the 2000 mark, which is uh, soon, but not yet. 
So maybe we should do something like 5,000 and that would be more fitting. Though 2,000 for the coal I feel like is enough. But then the iron and copper can go up to 5,000. Let's try to finish this part here. I should be able to just copy this over quite easily. Like so and so. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It become active little minions. Yeah, well you look at that. Now we don't even use all the robots, but I feel like... Um, well, we are... What are we missing? Of course, plastic. I did not scale up the plastic yet and it is not even being produced because I cut the line to the petroleum. No. Ah, we don't... Wait, we don't have enough petroleum. Well, you look at that. I totally forgot to connect the tanks. My bad. Yeah, there is a pipe missing in between those tanks. Same thing for the water. But still, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to copy this over a couple of times so that we are producing more plastic bars. That is going to be necessary. Let me... Hmm, let's copy over this. This should make it possible. Yeah, to tile this somewhat. I gotta say, I like where this is going so far. Do I have some more modules from my old system? 20 here, another... No, no, actually not that many. It's not looking good, guys. So we have to move it quite soon. Okay, I would say we can then copy this over. We're certainly going to require a second row of this. I fear we're actually going to require more rows. I probably should have planned this out a little bit better, but we're going to check the ratios afterwards. Good, I'm going to go ahead and collect some more modules from over here, but soon enough, actually maybe already right now, we should be able to move this. What if I just copy this over? No, actually I want to rearrange it. So I'm just going to copy over the machines. If I make copies of each row then i can just grab the machines and then paste them in so i'm gonna get this started right here get me the other blueprint let me see yeah we probably want to separate this with a row of beacons every time so we do something like that and then paste in the red modules paste in another row of beacons like so and then paste in the speed modules then I guess we can finish everything off with another row of beacons. And then these beacons here, they can all go. I will also be adding some more speed modules. Hold on, this is not right. This should be one block up. But for now, let's just get a requester chest in here together with a storage bin. We're gonna get some fast inserters to bring in the materials and the slow ones should be enough to get them out. Hook up some cabling to this guy and limit this. Let's say we want to limit this to only five modules. Also gonna add the necessary power. And then thinking about it, we should add another row of robo ports. So we probably wanna get this further down. Add another row of robo ports and then we're gonna add this back um let me see uh right there and this is then gonna allow me to set up one final row of robo ports time to copy over the materials we need for this and i'm also gonna round all of this up mm, maybe not maybe let's do just 50 good then time to copy this over for each machine here and i think since we are using the any item tag we can just also use it for the other tiers except maybe for the last one here we're gonna change how many we want to store which is gonna be much more they stack uh, to 50 right so that would be 500 let's do about one 1000 per chest so that would be 1000 that i want to store in here good then i will be able to copy this over for the other guys i might actually already do it for the productivity module eh, yeah we're just gonna prepare the requester chests but i'm gonna add the inserters later so now my robots can become really active yeah we're already up to 940 robots that are required Good. Now, if we just have a quick look at everything, the ratios, then we might be able to judge uh, what we have too little of. Like right now, we seem to be lacking the red circuits and uh, maybe a whole bunch of cables. But the cables could also be because of the modules. So we don't really get the correct number until we added all of the speed modules. If I have a look at the plastic, we can probably build some more of these, though I will have to get rid of some of these robo ports still. Also, I think I'm going to add 100 construction robots to this system and this way as the system produces the modules they are gonna fill it up actually maybe this can also be done by the logistics robots but still we now have 100 construction robots in the system it's good wait a second i actually i don't need the green circuits i just need the blue circuits for this one whoops so instead of green circuits we want blue circuits 
And then, of course, we also need the speed module. So, uh, yeah, I cannot copy over anything. Right here, we need blue circuits and speed module 2. So I have to change that as well. Good. Now, the machines can actually go to town. And I'm also going to speed things up a little bit. We want to eventually fill all of these up with speed modules. So maybe as long as I don't have enough, I'm actually going to give it to the machines right here. Okay, now that we actually have that, I think I'm already gonna grab all of this, get it out of the way. Yeah, let's just deconstruct all of this. Thank you. Get rid of that entire construction area. And this way we can now use all the materials we're producing for the rest of the system. I now have a whole bunch of modules in my inventory that I think I can just deliver to the system. Well, eventually. I also have to change the logistics filter here for my storage chests. I totally forgot that. This needs to be efficiency module 3 right there. And then we also need to change it for productivity. Okay, so this is still gonna take a little while to get rolling, I would say. But once we got the initial beacon set up here for the speed modules, we should be golden. And then, of course, we still have the option to do the same exact thing here on the other side. This is why I kept it a little bit small. So we could potentially double up on that effort if necessary. And we still have a little bit of space to expand towards the bottom. So if we needed another row of red circuits, for instance, we could technically do it. All right, I give this a little bit of time to develop and apart from almost giving me a seizure, everything seems to be working out fine. This now also means we can go ahead and check out the ratios and I suspect or I already know that we are gonna need more. We're lacking 22 copper cables, but that is fine. We can ignore that. However, we cannot ignore the 80 advanced circuits that we are missing, which is approximately 63 machines. And we also cannot ignore the 275 electronic circuits that we're missing, which is another 32 machines. So I figured what we should do is double the amount of green circuits we are getting. This will end up in a little bit of a surplus, which is fine. And then I think I'm going to add two more of the red circuit modules. Now we could theoretically do this at the bottom if we wanted to, or we could move everything down. And now what is better? At the moment, I have a whole bunch of robots just curling up around here. So it might even be better to get the other machines downstairs. Mm, but you know, I'm not so sure this is going to make me happy. We could just cut this out. Uh, could we do that though? I'm going to make a little safe game in case this goes wrong. But I should be able to just cut this out like so. And we grab all this stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is just amazing. Okay, good. Now I just need to copy over this shebang and add it one more time here at the bottom. And we have our green circuits doubled. Then I'm going to paste back the rest of the machine that we have here. No, actually we first need a row of robo ports yeah this needs to go here first good now we theoretically have enough green circuits we need to double or even triple the amount of red circuits we're getting as well and i just noticed we're missing the beacons here good let's grab that copy it over that is double and i would theoretically have to add one more though could we now add the blue circuits still hmm. you know what we might be able to add the blue circuits here including the actual module production and holy cow, this would actually fill up the entirety of the thing. Very good. We now almost have 2,000 robots at the ready. And now I guess we just have to wait a little bit longer. But this time around, we know we will have enough circuits in order to sustain a beaconed module production. Considering we already need this many circuits, I'm probably not going to add the speed modules inside. Probably this is going to be... Oh man, this is still going to be very slow. No, actually the beacons aren't intact yet. So the beacons will make this much faster. And then as mentioned, we can still copy it over in case we want to improve the production. But I mean, it does take up quite a bit of space. Everything is beaconed up and still we need so many machines. It is kind of crazy, but this is going to help us out a lot in our quests to break the game. And by the way, as you can see, we are still at a very good FPS and UPS rate, despite the fact we have quite a bit of stuff going on. And for the past 10 hours or so, I've been producing, let's see, over 1200 science packs or consuming so that is pretty good and steady, I would say. Now, we just have to wait a little bit here. My concern is that the robots are not really distributing here uh, around the robo ports. No, actually, they are doing a good job now. 
The only problem is this RoboPort here where there are a lot of robots queuing up. But I guess if we have enough robots and enough materials, it doesn't really matter. I also had to upgrade the amount of materials that call a train. So 10,000 plates now before another train is being called. But yeah, I would say with that out of the way, I declare our module production a problem of the past, at least once that is finished up. And then maybe we are going to do another one of these guys. Or if it is enough, then we are going to go nuts. But hopefully once we get all this preparation out of the way, we can just ramp it up all the way. At this point, I'm not so sure about the critters anymore. I mean, do you guys still want the critters? They're kind of crazy. And at this point, it is more of a nuisance. I mean, we proved the concept of the artillery turrets it's just slightly annoying maybe i'm just gonna make them passive so i'm not gonna completely remove them and we can still use our artillery but they are not gonna just come and destroy my stuff and also i don't have to worry as much about the pollution I don't mind either way it's just a thing that really costs a lot of time and a lot of time also means less content that i can produce here okay we're gonna have a look at this once everything is beaconed and moduled up in the next episode hopefully we will see a lot of the green stuff here and not the red ones red of course is bad we are lacking the materials but i think this is just a problem that now requires a little bit of patience to solve. Wonderful. With that out of the way, we're going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time. And hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.